Yeah, what's up? The uh, waitress, man. The one you're kidding with? The burger joint? What's her name? Sweet Kid? Yeah, from Rosie. Right. Better take a look at it. Sweet is not what I call it. Come on, you love it. Try not to wake you. Good work. <laughs> I think it just aged 12 years. How are you? Mm. Wet. So where's Dan? Isn't he supposed to be the one risking his life protecting you? Well, he is. Time flies. Fishing. Sandwich oh. Creek. That was this weekend. Yes. He's coming home, though, isn't he? Well, eventually, I suppose he will. Mom, I mean like today or something. Or something. There's a storm. He may get stuck. Everything all right? Sure. Why shouldn't it be? Well, 
homecoming weekend. Last person I expected to see. Yeah, well, we had a big bash up at the house, and it's gonna be crazy up there all weekend. And I got a stupid bio exam on Monday. What kind of professor would give a bio test the Monday after homecoming? Someone who hates fraternities. You sure I can't make you something? Breakfast? <clears throat> Bread and pizzas. At least here we have laundry patrol and tuck-in service, but you don't get that at the house. Here, come on. <laughs> You're the greatest. <laughs> so are you, sweetheart. What prompted this sudden insight? Oh, I don't know. Being back in my room. Sometimes. I wonder if joining a fraternity was such a good idea. Not much is a good idea at 6 o'clock in the morning. What's the matter? You and Rosie have a fight? Then? I don't know where she is. What do you mean? We got separated. Rosie was dancing. Dancing? Where is she? I couldn't find her. I left. Maybe she went with somebody. You'll never guess who's sleeping in Chad's room. Chad's sleeping in Chad's room. What's with all this cooking? I thought I'd make him... Yeah, a couple hundred pies. Mom alert! <laughs> be a little obvious. You know, people do eat from time to time, Melissa. Oh, get a run. What do you mean, run? Wait a minute. We're supposed to go shopping. Damn, I forgot. But Ricky got us tickets for the game. Oh. Next weekend, I promise, okay? Oh, no. Yeah. no, no, wait a minute, Melissa. No, you have to eat your breakfast first, and then you can... Oh, no, just give it to Chad. Say hi for me when he gets up. Oh, Melissa. Hi. Hi. You up for good? Uh, you're from Dad? No, Zippo. Your sister says hi. She said hi. She woke me up. Chad, you know I'm going to find out anyway. What's the matter? Nothing. Mom, it's too early to be cross-examined. Oh, well, not cross-examining you, Chad. I just know the routine. <laughs> when something's wrong, you go to Dad. It's fine. I've asked for him six times already. We're all on the same team. I'm failing bio. I figured I needed some serious scram time. Well, at least we know why you came home. The frat house must have burned down. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. Your clothes, when I washed them, smell like smoke. Yeah, well, we had a fire in the parking lot. Some guys were grilling hot dogs and stuff. Oh. I thought you said you had pizza. Some guys had hot dogs and some guys had pizza. What's up with you, Mom? How about you, Rosie? Were you two drinking, having a good time? I don't see what that has to do with anything. My daughter is missing. I would like the police to do something about finding her. Well, actually, we usually don't take missing person reports until 48 hours, especially with kids. Usually they just come home. If they don't, well, sometimes we find that uh, maybe they end up with a boy and then they're afraid to come home. Rosalie wouldn't do that. Those well, kids, you never know. Uh, sometimes the ones parents think it couldn't happen to. Look, we all know what goes on at these fraternity parties. I know my daughter. She might go to a party that she's not supposed to, but... She was supposed to pick up her brother at the neighbor's. She loves Sammy. We're very close. She's a very responsible child. Well, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Well, why don't you ask at that frat house? I explained to you, ma'am. We don't have probable cause. Look, the fact is, most of Ask me. Cindy what kind of a girl Rosie is. Go ahead, ask I'm her. I'm sure she is, ma'am. Look, uh, if you could give me a call when she comes home, I'd appreciate it. I looked everywhere for her. Everybody was 
Nobody paid attention. I didn't want to go anyway. hours has elapsed. This is a policy which has come under considerable debate recently as it becomes clear that the issue of runaways and missing persons Did you hear about this? What? Well, there's a woman um, who claims her daughter is missing after a fraternity party. Oh, my daughter. Uh-uh. She would not stay out all night, much less run away. We're very close. It's mm, awful. You didn't hear anything? Mom, there are about a thousand parties on Friday. I mean, at our party alone, there are probably a couple hundred people. Who knows who's there? For our mother, for God's sake. I gotta go. Mm, okay. Take her by the twerk for me, huh? Is she okay? Oh, what do you mean, she? What, you split her? I just can't take my competition. Okay, we'll see you guys later. Good luck. The bio exam? <sighs> Don't worry if you flunk. You're the golden boy. Yes, sir. Don't get into trouble. Me? You? No boyfriends? Eat a lot? Okay. Don't be such a teenager. Say goodbye to Dad. Mm. Okay. I want to hear how that fishing trip went. Still don't want to try the parent who's here? I'll make sure he calls you. Promise. Drive carefully. Call me when you get there. So I worry. Sue me. <laughs> the truth is, she really didn't belong here. She just showed up, and I guess she walked out. That's not true. She was invited. Some of you boys were at the restaurant where she worked. That was me, ma'am. We were talking about the party. She asked if she could come. I said, sure, trying to be nice. Ma'am? This is a private house. One of you took her up to his room. Is that what happened? No, ma'am. We'll see. Ma'am, please, I understand that you're upset. This is not right. Look, I, I don't know whether you don't care or don't understand, but she was here in this house and she never came home. Doesn't that mean anything to you? I give you my word, ma'am. She left. Get out of my way. Ma'am, hey, get your hands off me. What's going on here? All right, that's enough. Finally getting interested? Ma'am, I told you I'd be investigating this. You shouldn't be here. Well, please. Now, who called the police? Um, I did, sir. When she came, I thought there'd be trouble. That was good, son. Now, I want you to go outside and wait there. I'll talk to these boys, and I'll give you a lift home. I've got my car. If there's anything that we can do to help, officer, I mean... Please. I understand the lady being upset, but, you know... Did you see my daughter? No, ma'am. I want to talk to all of you. Sure, fine. Then what I suggest you do to simplify things is to arrange that with the dean. I'll do that. And I'll expect cooperation from everyone who saw that lady's daughter. Why the hell 
don't you call the police. Go to hell, Carter. Hey, what did Dad say? I wasn't home. Real call. Hey. Are you all right? Are you? Are you all right with this, Chad? Are you? You're not expecting him back. There. That. Here's some more. These are good games. See what you think of these games, John. What do you think? Is that a good missile command? What's that called? Whoa. 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 And right. Look, I have the whole unit, so let's go set it up. Yeah. yeah. She felt it wasn't worth it. It was worth it when I wasn't getting punched out. Hey, Karen. Hi. Hmm. Not bad, Chris. Can I see from it? Sure. Okay, I'll be right back. Do you want to try the sun for a while? Gee, can I? There's a boundary around the whole family. Got somebody new here. Ran her through admitting, kind of lost. Surprise. Yeah, I don't have a counselor. You think you could uh, lend a hand? She's not too anxious to see a man's face. Sure, I'll give it a try. Her name is Jennifer. Don't try too much, just kind of be there. Okay. Jennifer? Sleep with the fish after you catch them? That's the fun part. <laughs> How do you like this, huh? I rented it at the airport. Did you get a cab? Looks like you couldn't get anything. Not this airport, that airport. Oh, my God, Roger. I drove straight through the storm. I missed you so damn much. I couldn't wait another minute. Oh, you really know what to say to a girl. If you play your cards right on that, consider meeting you upstairs. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. After the shower. Come on. So, uh, any word from the other one? He came home. He came home? Homecoming weekend? Mm. Yeah. The city had a biology exam they had to study for. Mm -hmm. You think he didn't? I don't know. He wanted to talk to you. He kept asking me to be back. You know, it reminded me of, um, all those times, you know? The DUIs. And he got busted for pot. He didn't tell you anything else? You know, Chad, 
Would he? Maybe I better just check in. Hold that thought. Don't go away. Chad. Hey. Yeah, it's me. Just got back. <laughs> Listen, your mom said that. There's no problem. Okay, yeah, I'll be right up. See you. Very romantic. Well, you always said the kids came first. I lied. <laughs> Roger, this couldn't have anything to do with uh, that girl, could it? What girl? Well, on the news, there's um, a girl missing, a high school girl. She was last seen at one of the fraternity houses. One of his uh, buddies has himself a little legal problem. Drug thing. And it couldn't wait. Well, it can, I can't. I gotta be in court first thing in the morning. We had a party at the house on Friday, and uh, there was this girl. Uh, look, anything that we say is obviously Oh, it's privileged, yes, yes. Well, somebody give me a buck. And you're retaining me. This girl, the waitress at a burger joint off campus, and she shows up to the party in a very sexy dress, almost see-through, and she immediately starts drinking, and She's on the dance floor dancing, and she's really coming on. And Just uh, tell me what happened. All right. Well, I was talking to her, and she said that she wanted to see the rooms. She wanted to know what it was like upstairs. Uh, Johnny, is, is that pretty much how you remember it? Just... No, nothing. Uh, when we get upstairs... Would you excuse me? I'm talking to Johnny. Johnny? We r raped her. Shut up, Johnny! Um... What happened? <clears throat> John, Johnny's very upset. And I think that he's taking this thing a little bit out of context. When she came upstairs, she was looking for sex. But that may not be what you want to hear, but that is the context that we are dealing with here. Context? You brought this girl... Up to your room. Was she drunk? She was drunk. And underage. Did she know what she was doing? Well, that's what she came up there for. Who took her upstairs? I did. And you had sex with her? Yes. That's rape. That's the context. Did somebody else rape her? Chad. We all did. What did you want me to do about this? We figured that maybe you could help us. You know, I mean, we didn't, uh... We didn't know what to do. Oh, you want me to tell you what to do? You want me to tell you what to do? There was a cop here. He's gonna come back. You're a lawyer. We didn't know what to tell him. Well, what do you think you should tell him? Nothing. I don't think we should tell him anything at all. That's it. And hope that she's too embarrassed to say something or, or that she, I don't know, maybe she doesn't even remember. Where is she now? We don't know. Nobody knows. All right, look, 
There's a girl reported missing. We're all talking about the same girl, aren't we? Yes. Then what the hell happened to her? We don't know. Maybe she was too upset to go home. Maybe she ran away. It happened on the fourth floor. We left her up there in the room. When we came back, she was gone. You left her there? Gang raped her and left her there. You were sure that she was all right? Yeah. She probably just snuck out. If you'll excuse us, I would like to talk to Chad. Anything you guys need to know, you ask him. sister goes to parties. That girl could have been your sister. I told you, I didn't know it was her. I, I mean, I, you know, we didn't, we didn't, oh, we just, shut up. Listen to yourself. This isn't some accident like you ran over the cat. You raped a girl. God knows what she's going through now. And all I hear from you, from my son, from any of you, is what's going to happen to me. I'm sorry. I am. Are you going to go to jail? You could. Police, that she was here and that she left. Are you going to tell Mom? Maybe she'll never have to know. Yes, I, I was wondering if uh, there's been any progress in the Rosalie Frank case. Yes. No, uh, no, I'm not really an interested party, but it's just that I've been looking in the papers and, and there's nothing. Uh, uh, you can't give out any information. I said, no, 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 no. I don't think I need to talk to the detective in charge. No. As you know, I've spoken with the dean, and he's given me assurance that the university, and you boys in particular, will give us your fullest cooperation. And we don't have a warrant, but we could probably get one. At this point, there's no presumption of guilt. None of you is in any way relinquishing your rights. No one's under suspicion. We are simply trying to find out what happened to a missing girl. We're glad to help, Detective. Mm -hmm. Billingsley, do the honors. Hey. This is my room. This is my roommate, Johnny Dixon. It's usually a lot neater than this. 
Now what's this? Storage. Can we see it? Sure. More storage? Yeah. Can I look in here? Sure. Hmm. What happened here? Ah, uh, the mattress caught fire. Check this out. Some of the guys come up here to study, you know, late when your roommates are sleeping or something. I guess somebody was smoking and it caught fire. When was this? Um, a couple weeks ago. Three weeks, maybe. We reported it to the school. Kind of stupid, isn't it? Smoking in bed. Yeah. Very stupid. Oh, we'll check it out. You think you might be giving some kind of signal? Something that you might be doing that gives him permission to hit you? What do you mean, I give a signal? Maybe something you're not even aware of. I'm there. That's the signal. <laughs> Jennifer? It's like I'm not there. It's happening, but it's more like I'm outside myself, watching. Sometimes it doesn't even hurt. I just can't believe he doesn't realize what he's doing and just stop. Karen, what do you think about that? Well, I'm not a therapist, but, um, I mean, I've been around here long enough to know that something needs to change, and if it isn't him, maybe it's you. <laughs> what do you know about it? Everyone has problems. Like what? Well, my family has problems. You get beat up a lot? <laughs> no. No, I, I, I don't get beat up. But, you know, I... Go on, it's okay. Well, I mean, in, in my family, um, the thing is that people don't involve me. You know, mom, in problems. At least not the serious guy ones. Problems. That's it. Problems. 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 That's things. Hell. If I had just a little bit of what you've got, I wouldn't mind getting beat up now and then. Girl. <laughs> That's I can't say that. Maybe your husband just doesn't want to worry you. That's what he says. Now, Doug has a lot to worry about. And I think sometimes the problem is is that he's trying hard to protect me. Oh. So he beats you up? What do you mean? I went up to the um, campus this afternoon. I looked at the parking area next to the Theta Gamma house. Why? What for? Well, when Chad was home, um, his clothes smelled like smoke. And I asked him about it, and he said they had built a fire in the parking lot and had a hot dog roast. But there were no signs of a fire. And the pavement would have been discolored, you know. There would have been you know, embers, charred embers of some kind. Barbecue, but it was down by the lake. You must have misunderstood. Did he tell you whether they had their little hot dog roast before or after something happened with Rosalie Frank? For God's sake, Karen. Karen, what is the matter with you? Oh, Roger, come with me. Oh, come on, Roger. Listen to me. I mean, a 17 year old girl disappears 
uh, and she had no business being at a fraternity house to begin with. And you get an emergency request from our son to go up there in the middle of the night. You expect me to believe that these two things have absolutely nothing to do with each other. Yes, I don't understand you. I really don't. Well, I mean, no, for some me. crazy reason, what? you actually want to link Chad no, to that I, girl's disappearance? Uh, Is that no, what you're trying no, to do? No, no, just wait and don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't twist this around, much. Don't twist this around. I, don't don't this around. I told around. you exactly don't what happened, Karen. One of his fraternity brothers has a legal problem about drugs. I'm sorry, but that's all I can tell you. Calling the police. I want to know which fraternity house that girl was at. That's all. David Gamma House. David Gamma House. Thank you. Welcome. And so something. Something must have happened uh, there. What was it? I mean, did did one of the boys have sex with her? I, I don't. I, I can't. I just. I went up there as a lawyer. A lawyer. Roger, you're his lawyer. No, I thought you were his father. I know I'm his mother. He's involved in this. There were five of them. responsible for ruining their lives over something that nobody really knows what happened. They raped a teenage girl, Melissa's One age. One of them happens to be Chad, your son. Can't you understand that? No, I can't understand that. You're telling me my son is a rapist. How can I understand something like that? If we get a suspect, man, we can look for hairs that we can match. But you don't have a suspect, do you? There aren't any suspects until there's evidence of a crime. She's not here. What more evidence do you need? You need to find a, a body. That's what you're trying to say. Oh. 
Mrs. Frank. You don't have to do this. How the hell do you know what I have to do? Look, John, we all feel like hell. Do we? Well, I guess I better get Mom out of here. Look, I know I got you into this. I'm not a baby, Chad. I did it myself. No, I know, but if what I had... What difference does it make? You got me into it. Carter got you. Carter thinks it was her. I mean, can you believe that? In his mind, he honestly believes that she caused him trouble. Yeah, that's Carter. Maybe it's me. Maybe it doesn't matter. Get out of my way, Chad. I can't let you go like this. Why not? Because of our lifetime bond as frat brothers? We're friends. Yeah, I thought so. But what does that mean, man? You know? Are you gonna be okay? Johnny? Sure. Aren't you? Trust me, trust me. Hey, come on, man, just tell us. Anticipation. The A party. <laughs> you guys are gonna owe me for this. <laughs> What do you think, Chad? I don't know. I don't know. Let's check it out. Relax. Okay, we'll check it out. What's the deal, Carter? Chadsky? I did it for you.
Jennifer? Sorry. I meant to say goodbye, but why? I mean, I saw the way you looked when you came in. You remember? We're gonna work it out. I mean, it's best for the kids. And he promised. We love each other, man. Yeah, I know I can be a bastard sometimes, but... But you need someone to help you not do this again. Well, thank you for suggesting. It's a good idea. Let's go, honey. Jennifer, you don't have to go. I mean, you have a, a court order. Let's go, honey. The kids are getting antsy. It's my decision, Karen. Maybe it looks... It's best. It really is. We love each other, and... I know what George would say. But I don't. There's no place else. You don't have to be intimidated. Excuse me, but this is Jen's idea. She's made up her mind. You probably just don't get that that's how it is. But we have a special kind of love. You beat the hell out of her. What kind of special love is that? Really, Karen? We'll work it out. Thanks for your help, ma'am. But we can take it from here. Poor woman. That's what she wants. What do you care? Listen, we were just talking, Rosie, and uh, we're gonna have a party at the house. I wanted to invite you. Okay, come on, Carter. Sure. I'm very serious. I'd love for you to come to the party as my guest. Do you arrive? Ask Todd to come find me. Totally. Totally. Seriously? Yes. Can I bring a friend? Yeah, I think you should bring a friend. Bring two friends. Moved out? Yeah. Yeah, I went home for a little while. You know, school, pressure. Seems to be an epidemic. Boys from his fraternity going home. I was gonna ask you if you plan to come home for Thanksgiving. Yeah, sure. Not a lot to be thankful for. Dad said he wasn't going to tell you. Don't hide behind your father. I'm asking you to tell me. No, you don't. No, I don't uh, play games with me, Chad. Of course, I don't want to hear. I didn't ever want to hear. But I want to know how you could have done such a thing. What the hell do you want from me? I want you. You. Chad Billingsley. Not your father and not me. To tell me what you're going to do about it. I can't. But what can I? I mean, I just. God, I just want you to leave me alone, damn it. If you don't face this, go through it, 
and come out the other side, it will break you. I don't understand how you could have done that. What were you thinking? I thought he might need a parent as well as a lawyer. This is a very, very delicate situation. Delicate? Yes, delicate. As long as no one says a crime has been committed in the eyes of the law, there is no crime. It's possible that this could all blow over. My God, Roger. I don't know you. And what world are you in? The real world, Karen. Situations like this get out of hand. Oh, well, this is out of hand. Listen to me, you're not thinking this through. He needs someone to teach him right from wrong. He knows right from wrong. Does he? No, who taught him? As far as I can tell, he knows he can do anything he wants and not be responsible because his lawyer will get him off. It must be so easy to be that self-righteous when you've never had to face down a real problem in your life. You know, maybe you're right. Maybe it's my fault. And maybe that's why my son is sitting in this fraternity house room, tortured by the fact that he gang-raped a girl. We can't get into this now. You're not being rational. But rational got us here. Maybe it will get us right past the question none of the rational people seem to be asking right now. Where is that girl? Why isn't she at home? Can any of the rational people tell me something? I can't talk to you. You've got to talk to me. This isn't just about Chad. It's about us. It's about not doing something stupid, damn it, Karen. One stupid thing is enough. He's about to bolt. If you scare him, there's no telling what he might do. Might never see him again. Don't you think? I'm afraid of losing him. His love. I know him. It's going to destroy him. You're going to destroy him! I know him better than you do. Or at least differently. When he got in trouble, you thought he'd love you if you got him out of it. What are you doing? I saw what it did to him. Little by little. He got used to things being fixed for him. Smoothed over. Life made easy. I thought he'd love me if I gave him his dinner and helped him to understand that his father would handle all the serious stuff. I knew what was happening, what he was going through. And I didn't do anything about it. Maybe because I recognized it. I can't do that anymore. I can't go along with the program just because it's the smart thing to do. I won't let my son destroy himself. No matter what happens.
Shatsky. What are you doing, man? It's Thanksgiving. Get out of here. Well, I'm working on a paper. I'm leaving in a minute. Yeah. Nothing like a little turkey with the folks, huh? School can get kind of tight. One can lose perspective. Look, Chad. You know what's going on with your buddy Johnny? Yeah, he left school. But we can see that. Brothers are responsible for each other. In the house. You trust him? Look, you're the frat president. Why don't you ask him yourself? You aren't coming apart on us, are you, Chatsky? Can't let that happen. We'll chat next week. You be sure and have a good one, okay? Happy Thanksgiving. get too old to have that handshake mean something. Damn if you do. Right, Roger? Absolutely, Vernon. Sorry, I don't know the handshake, but I'd sure like to give you a hug. How you doing, Grandpa Walt? Oh, I'm fine. Don't say hi to me. I mean, never mind. I'm the only sister you'll ever have. No, there's something to be thankful about. <laughs> hi, Mom. Son? Well, I guess I better go wash up. Mm. Dinner in five If you decide to go to law school at the university, I remember we all did, me, your dad, uh, you'll probably want to stay at the fraternity at least your first year. When I was in school, I couldn't afford anything but the house. Yeah. Well, have you thought that far ahead? Okay. Huh? No. No, I don't think I have. Oh, well, there's plenty of time. Plenty of time. I mean, keep your options open, huh? That's always the most important thing in life. Keep your options open. What do you hear about the business of that missing girl? Was that your house? Yeah. Seems to have disappeared out of the news. Yeah, I haven't heard. Well, I think they would have reported it if she'd shown up. Dad, I think Chad would kind of like a rest from school. Well, yes, okay. 
having a lot of trouble sleeping. You know, everybody's treating me like I'm brain dead. I mean, Chad's on another planet. And you and Dad. Honey, there's nothing for you to worry about. killed her? Oh, she passed out. I guess after they left her in that room, they went back later on to check on her and... Uh... She just died? She vomited. And she'd been very drunk. choked on it. Oh, my God. Oh, that poor child. Where is she? smelled. They lit the mattress on fire in case there was any evidence. A couple of the boys took her body and we do. Sorry, Mom. God, you don't know how sorry I am. 
I don't think you can apologize for taking someone's life, Jack. I can't do anything else. I can't change it. I mean, it was an accident. It was an accident. But you raped her. And she died. She just died. I mean, why would anybody want her to die? So it's nobody's fault. Just happened. I don't mean it like that. She... She has a name, Chad. Did you know her name? Rosalie Frank. She was a person. I want to hear you say her name. No, I don't want to do that. Why not? Because I just don't, okay? I'm sorry. It's stupid. I can't do anything else. It wasn't my fault. I know you told me. One thing led to another. You don't like it, but that's the way that it was. God, it's like you're not even trying to understand. She was dancing. You should have seen the way she was dancing. It, I mean, she was advertising. It's like she wanted it. I mean, whose side are you on anyway? Sounds to me as if Roger's handling it just fine. <laughs> Daddy, she... She died. I mean, a real person died. A girl, a, a young girl like Melissa, she died. Well, that's just not just a legal problem, is it, Daddy? Your grandson was there. I mean, it's he... his future I'm thinking of. He participated. In life, things aren't always as simple as they seem. Good, bad. It's all pretty relative. You've got to keep your options open. That's the important thing. Keep your options open. I mean, I always thought that you knew everything. My wise father. But what matters to you is not what I think is important. Or the right thing to do. the best thing. Your mother would understand. She could explain it to you. Bye, Daddy.
this up. Honey? What time is it? It's about the eight. Get real. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Listen, I've got to go away for a little while. Huh? Where are you going? Just for a few days. I'll, I'll call you so you know where I am. Wait, you're leaving? Where are you going? I'm not exactly sure. Your dad getting a divorce? Look, honey, right now I just need... Um, I just need some time. What for? What? To, to figure some things out. I mean, just because you're old doesn't mean that you know everything. I just... I need to, to figure out what I'm doing. even sure what I think. Uh, I wish my mother had ever been as honest with me as I'm trying to be with you. No. <laughs> I need you to be strong, okay? Now I'm still your mom. And I'll always be there for you, but I just can't stay. I need to figure it out. Please help me. Who are you gonna yell at me when I don't eat? I need to talk to you. I just want to know what the hell you want from us. I used to know what I wanted from you. The kids. Having a husband and children. Now I'm not sure. Look. We're still a family. Are we? I'm sorry, I didn't tell you. I was trying to protect you. One of the things I've been discovering is that there are two sides of protection. One person is protected, but the other person has the power. I hid behind that, just like my mother. I learned how to do that because I never saw any other way. See, all my life I've ignored the reality of things, the unpleasant things that maybe I was afraid of. 
And now I want to see things for what they are. I would. Hmm. We could just go easy for a while. Hmm? You're not tempting, that is. I guess I still love you. But right now, I'm, I don't trust myself to uh, be strong enough to carry. A few days ago, a woman whose husband had beaten her couldn't stand being alone and went with him again. Uh, he didn't force her. She made the choice. A few days later, she was back. I don't see the relevance. I don't think you do. Hi, Dr. Dixon. Yes. Dr. Dixon, this is Chad Billingsley. I just want... Johnny's... Johnny's dead. Uh, he, uh, had an accident. His, his car. <laughs> Chad, is it? Chad? It's okay, Johnny. Show the camera. Right. It's no big deal. Chad, wake up! Come on, we got a problem, dude. Now, come on! Chad. She's dead. Leave it alone. No, you don't understand. This is Mom. not just your... Leave me alone! My fault, too. I won't! Johnny Dixon's dead! Oh, my God. Chad, what happened? He wrote me this. His father said it was an accident. That he died in an accident. He killed himself, didn't he? <laughs> I let him die. Just like I let her die. No, I let them force him up there. And I didn't stop it. I mean, maybe, maybe I wanted to believe it was a hooker. Maybe I wanted to believe that she didn't mind or that she even wanted it. And it wasn't her. Rosalie. Rosalie. We killed her. We took her up there and, and we just used her. 
and then we let her die. I was so scared. And I wasn't afraid that I was going to hurt her. I was afraid that I wasn't going to be able to. She was just a kid. Mom, she was just a sweet, beautiful little kid. I don't know what I'm going to do. Help me, Mom. It's not going to get any better. It's only going to get worse. You said she hadn't put you up to this. This is my decision. It's not mom's. Not yours. What about everybody else? John Dixon drove his car off a bridge. He's dead. Johnny. Rosalie Frank is dead. I have. A responsibility to them. You have a responsibility to the living. I've thought about it. Believe me. as your brother. <laughs> Mel. I want you to come with me, Mel. Let him do this, Roger. I have to talk to him. I've been thinking a lot about what you're going to do. There was a lawyer who uh, told you all to keep quiet. I should know that too. I think they should hear that part from him. <laughs> <laughs> 